growing up, my friends would always be playing basketball, but I wasn't too good at it, and I felt like I didn't have the greatest mechanics. So I just kind of was embarrassed to play a little bit, but they encouraged me a lot to play, and I feel like that's how I, I got better and got over that, that curve. So you're from Brampton. Yes. And you played a lot of basketball with your brother when you were growing up. You played for Sheridan College. Can you tell me a little bit about your relationship? My brother, he's kind of the one who really ignited that flame to push me to start playing basketball. I didn't really, I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, I, to be honest, I didn't even really like watching basketball growing up. And uh, I just got a huge growth spurt. And he's like, you have all this talent, like, you know? And I seen him playing basketball. I'm like, let me follow him in his footsteps. When your brother was going through his basketball journey and then it was time for yours, I read that your mom was not down with you pursuing basketball. Why was that? Obviously, you know, as the, one, as the first child that comes up, things are done a little differently. And then with him pursuing basketball so much, you know, sometimes school. Yeah, <laughs> falls become, aside. Yeah, a falls aside a little bit. And then with me, my mom just really didn't want me to lack in that area. And she was really hard on me on the books. And then um, uh, once I joined uh, uh, AAU squad and I had my coach, Coach George, who me and him are really close, uh, he kind of encouraged her that, you know, like I have some, you have something special going on over here and that this kid could, you know, really do something with it. And she's like, you know, she gave it a re uh, rethought and was like, you know, but she was always hard on me. Like, yeah, make sure you get those schoolwork and your books done <laughs> if you're gonna pursue this basketball. So you really, kind of blew up. You played for the Team Canada Under 16 tournament and that's when you started to garner like significant attention. What was that experience like with that team when you represented Canada? That was the first time I was like exposed to like scouting reports <laughs> and you know just kind of like you know taking pre-games more seriously stuff like that and I feel like that experience has kind of made me who I am today. I remember one of the coaches um, on that staff was uh, telling us that um, how important, how big it is to represent your country. And he mentioned that uh, a lot of people, uh, the only chance to get to represent the country is through going to war and stuff like that. And we're blessed to have the opportunity to represent Canada through, you know, uh, a sport called like basketball. So that really stuck with me and that kind of um, enhance the experience. <laughs> Enoch looks around. He's going to take a three. Oh! Three. Enoch knocking it down. I also read that you're, and I'm getting this, you're, you're a humble guy, but that you said you have a chip on your shoulder because you play for Canada. What did you mean by that? Sometimes I feel like as Canadians, sometimes a lot of people are, well, you know, North America, I feel like Americans sometimes might see Canadians as soft or whatnot. That's something that has kind of been installed in me since I was young. So just to kind of almost like a chip on my shoulder, one up that like I can be just as good. And there's uh, players that have played before me that and I just want to add on to that. Oh, wow. the thunderous oh. slam. Oh. What can Canada basketball fans expect from you in Global Jam? I'm gonna pl come and play, play my heart out, play for, you know, that Canada on my chest. And as a collective group, we're really gonna show all that, the hard work and the talent that Canada has to offer. I think Enoch's a specimen. He has God-given talents. He's big, he's strong, he's athletic. Um, he has ability to guard pick and rolls. I think he has ability to rebound at a high level above the rim. He's taken all the coaching I think I've tried to put a great staff around him, especially these other players. So I think he's soaking up all that information that he can get from these coaches. And he's been really, really good in terms of taking it in and trying to, you know, translate it to the court. I think the sky's the limit as long as he continues to buy into the things that he needs to do to get better. What's the vibe with the team right now? Uh, it's early, but what, what are you feeling? Everybody really likes each other. The team chemistry on, on is great, and the locker room always making jokes and laughing and whatnot. So I can really feel that the unity, and we're all unified. So I know that we're going to play hard for each other.